Ty, like you mentioned, we have seen flooding before on this stretch of Highway 99, but Caltrans says the amount of water and the speed at which it came through this area over the weekend was a surprise. Take a look at the scene here on New Year's Day. Caltrans says more than 20 cars were stranded in the floodwaters. We talked to one of those drivers who had to be rescued, and she told us the highway was still open, and she didn't realize the danger she was in until it was too late. Caltrans says they shut down the highway here after midnight, but we asked if it should have been closed sooner, especially considering this is an area that is known to be prone to flooding. Could this have been avoided? Here's what they told us. Mother Nature kind of caused by surprise there with the amount of water that got through there in such a quick amount of time. Um, and so we didn't have staffing there that we have now. So we're now we're actively during these storms monitoring it. We've got the equipment and everything ready to go if that scenario plays out again. But that night, uh, unfortunately, we did not prepare for that kind of water to get into the roadway. He mentioned levee breaks in the area of the Kasumnas River meant more water coming through here than they would typically see in a, quote, normal flood event due to rainfall. Live here in Sacramento County, Lizay Mitri, KCRA 3 News. So what just happened here and with a long-term history, are there any long-term plans to address flooding at that problem spot? Caltrans says they do have a goal to eventually raise this stretch of the highway to a 200 year flood level, but they say they don't have a program to do that just yet. All right, Lizay Mitri live for us. Thank you.